Massachusetts health officials and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention confirmed a single incident of monkeypox in a patient who had recently visited Canada on May 18, 2022. The United Kingdom and Europe have also reported cases. Monkeypox isn't a new disease. The first confirmed human case was in 1970, when the virus was isolated from a child suspected of having smallpox in the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. Monkeypox is unlikely to cause another pandemic, but with COVID-19 top of mind, fear of another major outbreak is understandable. Though rare and usually mild, monkeypox can still potentially cause severe illness. Health officials are concerned that more cases will arise with increased travel. What is the present outbreak like? And what can we learn about the monkeypox from history? A cousin of smallpox. Monkeypox is caused by the monkeypox virus, which belongs to the orthopox virus subfamily of the poxviridae virus family. Smallpox, vaccinia, and cowpox viruses are included in this group. While there is no confirmed animal reservoir for monkeypox virus, African rats are thought to play a role in the transmission. Only twice in nature has the monkeypox virus been isolated from an animal. Monkeypox diagnostic testing is now only available at Laboratory Response Networks labs in the United States and around the world. The term monkeypox stems from the first known cases of the disease in animals, which occurred in 1958 in two outbreaks in monkeys maintained for research. However, the virus did not spread from monkeys to humans, since monkeys are not important disease carriers. Epidemiology Monkeypox has been detected in various different Central and Western African countries since the first human case, with the bulk of the cases occurring in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. International travel or imported animals have been linked to cases outside of Africa, notably in the United States and elsewhere. In 2003, an epidemic in Texas connected to a shipment of animals from Ghana caused the first cases of monkeypox in the United States. In Maryland, there were also travel-related instances in November and July 2021. Because monkeypox and smallpox are so closely related, the smallpox vaccine can protect you against both viruses. Routine smallpox vaccinations for the general public in the United States were discontinued in 1972, when smallpox was declared officially eradicated. Monkeypox has become more common in unvaccinated people as a result of this. Transmission Contact with an infected person or animal as well as contaminated surfaces, can spread the virus. The virus usually enters the body by broken skin, inhalation, or mucous membranes in the eyes, nose, or mouth. Human-to-human -human transmission, according to researchers, occurs mostly by inhalation of large respiratory droplets rather than direct contact with bodily fluids or indirect contact through clothing. Monkeypox transmission rates between humans have been low. Officials are concerned that the virus is spreading undetected through community transmission maybe via a new mechanism or pathway. Infections are currently being investigated as to where and how they originate. Signs and Symptoms After entering the body, the virus begins to multiply and spread through the bloodstream. Symptoms normally take one to two weeks to show following infection. Monkeypox causes similar skin lesions to smallpox, but the symptoms are usually milder. Initially, flu-like symptoms such as fever, headache, and shortness of breath are typical. A rash can emerge on the extremities, head, or chest one to ten days later, finally turning into pus-filled blisters. In general, symptoms persist two to four weeks, with skin lesions scabbing over in 14 to 21 days. While monkeypox is uncommon and typically harmless, one strain of the disease kills about 10% of those who contract it. The present strain of the virus is considered to be gentler with a mortality rate of less than 1%. Vaccines and Treatments Monkeypox treatment is mostly focused on symptom relief. The CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, states that there are no therapies for monkeypox infection. The smallpox vaccine appears to help prevent monkeypox infections and reduce the severity of the symptoms. In the United States, the vaccine Imvanune or Imvanex is approved to prevent monkeypox and smallpox. Following viral exposure, vaccination can help reduce the risk of severe illness. Smallpox immunization is now recommended exclusively for persons who have been or likely to be exposed to monkeypox, according to the CDC. Immunocompromised people are particularly vulnerable. I hope you found this video informative. Have you made any fresh discoveries? Please tell me in the comments section below.
Please like and subscribe to ensure you never miss another video by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching.